Konnichiwa. Welcome, this is Songbringer. It's an action RPG that is procedurally generated. Uh, you can think of it kind of like a, a, a... It's very inspired by 8-bit classics such as like Secret of Mana, Legend of Zelda. In fact, The Legend of Zelda is a, is a huge inspiration here. Think of the very first Zelda if it were procedurally generated. So uh, the, the locations of the overworld, the dungeons, the bosses, the secrets, items, everything like that changes based on your world scene. Um, you give it a six letter world scene at the very beginning and that generates your adventure. Basically, basically your whole overworld and everything is generated based on that six letter scene. So if you wanted to share your scene with a friend, for example, they can play the exact same world that you're playing. So for example, the world Peanut is always going to be the world Peanut. It will always be the same, um, no matter who's playing it on what platform. So that's the basic concept of Songbringer. So I'm going to go ahead and play through the demo uh, with some comments here on what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And um, after this, I'm going to actually, uh, this is the demo version, by the way. So this is limited. Um, it limits you to a certain area. It keeps you in a certain world seed only and it starts you off with the save file that's already been say like a quarter of the way complete you've got a lot of items that you don't normally start with in fact in the full version you start with nothing you don't even have to get the sword to beat the game so you could just get your top hat weapon. Um, there's several so basically you're starting with a lot of things you, um, you don't normally have so just for some context uh, you have the sword item which is uh, your first item you find you have your top hat which you can throw, which is like a boomerang, and it comes back to you and picks up items. You have bombs, which can blow up secret walls. They do a lot of damage to nearby enemies, but they also do damage to yourself, so you gotta watch out a little bit. Um, there's cactuses, which you eat, and you gain psychedelic powers. You're able to see through secret walls. You become invincible for a little while, and you gain back a little health. Um, and then you also have the blink orb, which allows you to teleport forward a little bit. Um, and dodge enemy attacks and things like that. So, um, I think that's basically a good little intro. Let's get into actually playing through the demo. And then after that, I will close this down and play the actual full version and show you the procedurally generated world scene thing. Basically, I, if I had played through the version of the game, the full version of the game to get to this point, I would have already gone and found the sword and the bombs. I would have already completed one, one or two dungeons at this point, basically, to get to this much, this many items. Um, inside here, there's a cave with uh, one of the. Actually, that's something to show. Um, Songbringer is also a local co-op, so you can have player two control the little robot here. The little robot's name is Jib, and he scans enemies. Whenever you kill an enemy, he'll go and scan them and um, find items for you and stuff like that. And then this female character here is actually um, this. Later on in the game, you unlock her, so she becomes the second um, player as well. So. Not to spoil the plot or anything, but she you can actually play as her, basically. So, um, I'm just going to get out of this cave and kind of like... I only showed you that because this is something you've basically already done in the game at this point. So there Jim is scanning that enemy there, now he's scanning this one, he's scanning that one. So he's very helpful, and he, also he's very good at distracting enemies, so if you're playing as player two, um, you, can, you can really, really work some magic, especially with bosses and things like that. You distract the boss, and that leaves um, the boss vulnerable to attack from the main hero there, which his name is Rock. So yeah, the dude's name is Rock. He starts with the shirt on. He loses his shirt very quickly. The little robot's name is Jim, and they're friends. Scene right here when you first go into this dungeon that shows when they first meet. Um, there's secrets everywhere in Songbringer. I'm gonna go ahead and show you one of them. Because I know where this is. I think it's. Yeah, here we go. This is a, a see through wall. And actually, this right here. 
right here is a secret tunnel. In the full version of the game, you can use these secret tunnels. There's only a couple of them, but if you have the item you need to get past through the secret tunnel, this would take me to, it's like dungeon three or four or something. It depends on your world seed, it depends on your world. Um, another, another thing that's procedurally generated about Songbringer is the music. So we haven't actually heard the music for dungeon one yet because it's playing through one of the overworld tracks that you hear conditionally based on your story at that point. Uh, but now we're getting into that actually playing some of the dungeon music and the dungeon music there is it has procedural melodies basically. So depending on your world scene, um, it might use a C sharp for example for this dungeon or maybe an E or something like that. This is the wall that I do. Secret wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play through. Um, actually, this video is probably getting be too long anyway, so I'm not gonna go through and do a thorough playthrough of this whole dungeon. But suffice it to say, south of me, this way, there's a whole lot of optional dungeon that can be completed in this first dungeon here. The most direct way though to beat this dungeon is to go this way. I'm just going to take it to save some time on this video so it doesn't get too long. There's a trick to this room. Um, it's actually a bit too difficult in the demo for some people, so I'm going to make this room a little bit easier. But the trick here is that basically you have to kill all these spiders before this guy opens up. actually first obtained the bombs in the full version. Alright, so I'm just basically going to go straight for the boss fight here. Bombs are a pretty powerful weapon. Uh, there's also a cool item later on you can get called the, the top hat magnet. Basically that allows you to pick up bombs with your top hat. And so, it, but the tricky thing is you've got to time it just right because if you, um, if you, you can throw your, you can throw the top hat and if it's coming back to you, it will bring back the bomb. So you've got to time it as it's, it's only going to use its, um, it's not going to bring the base of the bomb back to you and hurt you. The blink orb here is actually a weapon as well. You can see it actually does a tiny bit of um, AoE damage when you hit things with it, so it's a pretty cool weapon. Um, you also have another weapon you don't see here in the demo is the ghost sword, which is a sword projectile. So whenever you swing your sword, it shoots out this projectile. And that's, oh, that's a big point too here is this item crafting. So there's five different elements. There's fire, ice, lightning, acid, which is like poison, and fear. Um, all five of those elements, eventually you're able to get back to your spaceship Songbringer. Um, and on board Songbringer there is the Droid Smith, and the Droid Smith can combine two items into one for you, depending on the combination. Um, so when it comes to elements, you can combine your elements with your weapons, so you can, for example, craft a fiery top hat that would light enemies on fire, or like a icy ghost sword, so when you shoot out the ghost sword projectiles, it would freeze the enemies, or like a lightning blink orb, so when you blink and you hit people, it actually hits, uh, hits them with lightning as well. Um, so that's a pretty, um, that's a lot of choice to how you develop your, your weaponry, basically. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and go straight for the second dungeon we put into um, this demo. There's actually a third dungeon, which is a secret dungeon. I'm not going to take the time to go through that, but suffice it to say, there's a lot of story and deeper um, plot.
plot elements that happen throughout songwriters, NPCs. Um, you have a spirit guide. Your basically explains why why the heck this is all going on. So, but anyways, the second dungeon here is um, we've programmed it to basically go straight into a boss fight. So rather than so basically, you would have a quick access to uh, anybody playing the demo at GDC or PAX or whatever. It only has five minutes. You can quickly see what a boss fight is like. I'm going to go ahead and try and fight her. This is a pretty difficult boss fight. Um, you're a bit underpowered for this boss fight in the demo. In the full version, you actually um, you have a couple more items you get by the time you're ever going to fight her. So it's a bit more reasonable. But as you can see, the secret to fighting this boss is dodging these cold attacks because what they'll do is they'll freeze you. And you sit, there you go. See, I'm frozen right here. That's a good like two seconds you're frozen for. You can't move, and it basically will really slow you down in this boss fight. And you kick your ass. So you gotta you gotta dodge the cold when possible. Uh, I just got hit again. Um, another thing you can do to win this boss fight is to use your cactus. I just used it right there. I need a cactus, and that gives me. Invincibility for a short time, and it gains back a little health. And if there were any secrets on the screen, it would highlight them very subtly. It's not too obvious. Um, let's see if I can blink. Oh, try to blink away. But I need to eat a couple of those just to get some health back. Bombs can also really help here because they're so powerful. As long as you time it correctly, because she has a mode where she is completely defensive there. When she closes her eyes, she's in the So I'm eating cactuses like crazy because it's low on health. I'm not sure about. Uh oh, this is gonna be too close. two dungeons um i'm gonna go ahead and close this now and open up the full version and show you a little bit of the proc gen i'm just playing it straight from steam here there's an a closed private beta going on right now for song ringer over the last year um so the game is getting pretty close to being out of beta at this point um but yeah so, so the launch is actually going to be this summer 2017 we're launching on uh, Steam, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. So I'm gonna go ahead and have to erase one of my slots here. I think this one, this was a pretty cool playthrough I did in, in permadeath mode. Maybe I'll show you permadeath mode actually. That'd be cool. Yeah, let's do a new game, permadeath mode. Regular mode, it saves your progress, just like a regular action RPG or whatever. Um, permadeath mode is like your roguelike mode. Basically, if you die, you're dead, you can't continue that save file. Um, permanent mode also has the benefit that it um, it uh, has faster opening doors and and has quicker things for story elements and things like that. So speedrunners will want to use the permanent mode. Um, what world sheets should I do? Uh, something I don't know. Uh, uh, let's just do Batman. I think I've played Batman before, but I can't think of a six-letter word right now. You can enter any six letters you want. It doesn't have to be a word. But I like doing words, because they're easy to remember. So I'm going to do World Seed Batman and see what this looks like. This is going to take me into the intro of the game. I'm going to skip over the intro, because we don't need to spend a whole two minutes on that. But suffice it to say, there's intros, outro, outros, lots of cutscenes in the game, and um, there's a whole story that unfolds. So I'm gonna skip this.
basically what we missed there was was crashing your bike because a, a lightning bolt just hit you and and jib and you crashed off your bike so i'm gonna get the, the sword you don't have to get the sword to beat the game you see in permanent mode it's also got a little timer up in the top left that shows you um, your current playtime. So it's very, very much built around speedrunners or hardcore players. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and fight this first little mini boss here and that will be it for this little... That's a little look at what Songbringer is. Um, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.